So today we were assigned to a mission uh, out to visit communities in the district of Sinopalchuk. It was called off when we were on our way out there because there was an earthquake around one o'clock this afternoon in uh, area in which we were trying to attend. Villagers who were involved in the coordination of today's delivery of supplies had phoned to say that they were okay, that everything was fine for them physically and for their families, but that it wasn't a good idea to, to drive the teams out there with supplies because there were a lot of landslides. The Sydney Paul Jack district was hit hard three weeks ago, and it's thought of to be an area that has had a lot of nature remodeling over the past 12 months. There was a landslide that pinched off a river and flooded with a giant lake last year that eventually needed to be uh, removed with dynamite by the government and the military. So this area has had a lot of um, aftershocks of things that make it difficult to work in St. Paul Chuck. So we're going to see how the condition is tomorrow. Uh, there are other organizations that are going to be able to report back as to the road conditions and we're going to check in with our community members to see and, and do an update as to the supplies that are needed after a, a fresh earthquake in the district and, um, and and see how best we can support them. Using the social media has been an amazing tool to keep people connected to the situation here and share pictures and video like Alan said. I want. Uh, there to be positive media coverage in the sense that you can take angles for doom and gloom in, in this scenario, but there's so many fascinating stories of unification going on here. And it's really a blessing to be in this country and watch people bond together as they have to sleep outside again. They ran out screaming this afternoon. It's got to be so traumatic if you lost anybody three weeks ago. And I think for so many people it's just it's a very nerve-wracking couple of weeks here and um, you just really feel for people and, and I think there's stories of incredible feats of, of people doing going out of the way for each other communities that weren't affected helping communities that were affected and you know as much as it's traumatic I think there's a phenomenal cultural bonding opportunity that's going on everyone's going through this together our primary role as human beings is to look after one another in times of need and so it's just a really good opportunity um, to recheck in with everybody, to recommit to the, the long-term fundraising goals that we've set for ourselves, to recommit to supporting community members who have uh, property damage, and to being really, really, really uh, unified in the sense that everyone is looking out for each other. There's a lot of um, hospitality that's being given if neighbors have uh, lost their homes either today or before. The biggest change is that um, people are still on their toes and, and everyone's being thankful and everyone's um, really just committing to uh, a few more weeks of vigilance. And then uh, outside of that vigilance, I think that there's an impending um, understanding that things need to return back to normal and we need to figure out how to help uh, communities that have lost their homes.